It's Penny from FCSS, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun with some oobleck. Um, we don't have the book in our house, Bartholomew and the oobleck by Dr. Seuss, but that's a great starter for this. So you could read the book and then do this activity. And the great thing about oobleck again is it's easy and involves uh, materials you should have in your cupboard. So let's have a look at what we need. So all you need is cornstarch and water. So what we've done here today is we have colored the water already. Each one has chosen their color of choice. We have aqua and orange and then we've got some trays because it can get a little bit messy but that's kind of fun. Messy play is fun and it's science. It's so cool. Okay have a seat and let's work on some oobleck. So coal here has orange. So the ratio you want to do is about two to one. So two cups of cornstarch to one cup of water, but what you can also do is just slowly add the water until you get the consistency that you want. So Cole, you go ahead and start with your orange there. So don't put too much in at once. And then Sophie has aqua here. So put some in and then mix it around with your hands. You want basically twice as much cornstarch as water. Mix it all in. Need a bit more water, do you think? Let's add a little more orange water here. Okay, really get in there and mix it. So it looks like you need a bit more water too. And what does it feel like? What does it feel like? So the cool thing about oobleck is it's a solid in the pan, but when you touch it, it turns to liquid. So you really have to do lots of mixing. The directions said about 10 minutes of mixing to get it right, but you can really get in with your hands. Looks like maybe more water, Sophie. And mix your water and your cornstarch together and get gooey and have some fun. So we're going to keep being gooey here and having some fun and I hope that you can have some fun with your kids with this. Take care.